Let's talk about ghost candidates. What are they? Well, it's essentially where someone says that they're running in your electorate, but they're not really. It doesn't feel like they're taking the election seriously because there's no posters up, there's no engagement with the community, there's no pamphlets being handed out, door knocking, and in some cases they don't even live in the electorate. They live thousands of kilometers away. Now, if you're like me and you think that they're lying to themselves and the electorate, you're absolutely right. In fact, the Turning Point Australia had a vote card team. They sat down over the weekend. They worked tire tirelessly to understand which electorates this has happened in. And they found it's happened in 15 electorates and they've corrected the how to vote cards for those electorates. Now, they're still looking at 14 other electorates this has happened in. It's happened on an industrial scale. It's not on. It's completely dishonest. And uh, if it happens in future elections, not only will they be pushed to the bottom of the uh, freedom parties, maybe they'll be pushed to the bottom of the ballot. Um, I don't want to see it happen again. The good news is we've had enormous success with the How to Vote Cards. They're popping off with 30,000 downloads of the How to Vote Cards. That's amazing, um, especially compared to some other projects like the Vote the Majors last um, project. Um, we had a tenth of their budget and uh, we're doing extraordinarily well in under a week. And we're only on day two of early voting. Keep sharing it out, keeping it, getting it out there. And if there are other future changes to our How to Vote Cards, I'll let you know and we'll update it digitally straight away. But I'll see you guys all later.